Wow. Barry Warner, Arian Foster, Hall of Fame. What do you think? The biggest if is if he can continue to do it, if he doesn't get hurt. Because I played with a guy who I think has the talent to go to the Hall of Fame and Priest Holmes, but he just couldn't do it for an extended period of time. Yeah, you'd probably vote James Casey. Now, let's make the probably. call. You got Tennessee <laughs> at Pittsburgh. Who do you like? I'm going to go with Tennessee. I think right now they're on a run. Pittsburgh's offensive line cannot pr protect the quarterback, so I see Tennessee's defense taking over this game. I think Big Ben will play despite that injured ankle. He's at home. I think they'll bounce back. Cincinnati, Jacksonville? Oh, yeah, I got to go with Cincinnati. Jacksonville right now, they look like they, they are in rebuilding mode. Cincinnati, they're hot. They're going to go and win this game. Andy Dalton over Blaine Gabbert. Now, Oakland comes to Reliance Stadium. What do you think? I think Oakland's going to go home with another loss. When you look at the Texans, you look at what they want to accomplish this year, they're not going to let the Raiders get in their way, especially at home. I expect the Texans to dominate this game, get up early, and control it with Aaron Foster. Usually they play out there. The Texans have don dominated the Raiders no matter where it's been except one game out there when they were flat. And they got beat right when they had a chance to have a winning season, and that game killed them. Is there any chance after the Steeler game they're going to come out flat for the Raiders? Not, not this year. Not with the guys like Antonio Smith, Mario Williams, who now is a true vet, D'Amico Ryans. They have too much leadership on that team to ever come out flat. Is, is leadership overrated or is it important? It's Especially important. Especially at a time like this. I think we use the word too loosely, but it's very important. <laughs>